One. Hey guys, Mr. Rankley here. And I also have Rocket. Rocket's going to be my assistant today. As much as an assistant that a tortoise can, can do. Um, we're going to be doing an egg experiment. It's around Easter. We've got a lot of eggs left over, so I figured, you know what the heck, let's go ahead and do a couple experiments here. So today we're using two types of eggs. One's a hard-boiled egg, and one is a, an egg that just came straight out of chicken. And I'm going to show you how strong an egg actually is. If you think about it, an egg's going to be pretty darn strong. It's got to make it out of a chicken, and I mean, it's got to be able to withstand a lot of pressure. Well, let's see how much pressure it can actually withstand. I'm going to put this egg in a bag, because sometimes my experiments sort of backfire on me, um, which kind of makes it more fun, but let's hope it does this time. Regular, regular chicken egg. Put it in my palm of my hand like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that as hard as I can. I mean, I'm really squeezing too. And I just can't break it. And the science behind it is actually kind of simple. I'm applying pressure to evenly to both sides of the egg. And so the pressure, instead of going straight down, kind of slides off. It's the same principle that keeps a submarine from from collapsing in, under the ocean. It just, the pressure just slides right off it. The submarine was sort of shaped like a, a box, it would get crushed really, really quickly. If an egg was rectangular, first of all, it wouldn't be very comfortable with chicken. Second, uh, it would just break. So that's that one. This is a great one too, by the way, to try with moms or dads, see if they can actually uh, squeeze it and break it. And once in a while, a dad will sort of cheat Usually dads, moms might too, but, uh, and they'll use their fingertips like that. When you use your fingertips like that, you're actually giving it uneven pressure, and then it'll break. Um, let me see if I can. Actually, well, maybe not. Sometimes they dig their nails into it, but in this case, this is one strong egg. All right, so I can't do it. And just to prove that it's a regular egg, here we go. Look at that, see? No trickery involved here. Science. The second one we're going to do is a hard-boiled egg, and I'm going to do the hard-boiled egg inside the bottle trick. And it's, I guess I should call it a trick because it's science. And if you explain it, then it's not a trick. So I'm going to put it on top here, and I'm going to get this egg to go inside the bottle. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to create a low-pressure zone here. I'm going to use all of the air up by burning this. It's going to create a vacuum. A low pressure zone, and the, actually the high pressure of the atmosphere is going to push the egg in. It's not going to get sucked in. In the universe, nothing sucks. Everything gets pushed. Let me go ahead and show you here. Like that. This one, you'll definitely need mom or dad there to kind of guide you. Put that in there. The egg in the bottle. Science demonstration. Even look at this. Rocket is even impressed by that. Now, a lot of times you'll see this one, but they don't show you the the other, the reverse way to get it out. I'm going to show you the reverse way. I'm going to create a low pressure zone in my mouth and a high pressure zone in the bottle by blowing air into it. All right. Things I do for my class. Even my dog's impressed. All right, here we go. Da! <laughs> that tastes really bad. Okay, but in case you have to get the egg out, that's the way you do it. Um, hey, I tell you what, so far in the last three days, my YouTube channel has exploded. I have got 21, I'm sorry, 22 viewers. And I'm looking for, if I get a million more, apparently I start getting paid for this. So please tell your friends to subscribe to Not Mr. Rankling's Fall. Thanks, you've been a great audience, and I miss all you guys.